half a year ago, I went from Poland to China and I made a video to talk about many Polish things that I brought to China. And now when I came back from China to Poland, I brought a lot of Chinese products to Poland. I think you would be very curious to know what are they. Let's wait and see. First product, very important. Everybody go to China and they will find Chinese tea. I am from Yunnan province and our Yunnan Puer tea is very famous. This is Puer tea. This tea, they are very compact and very hot. When you want to drink it, just take a little bit and put it in the water. They make a very good tea. Next thing maybe, let me show you this. Also a special dessert from Yunnan province. This is flower cakes. It is a bread bun with some rose filling inside. It's sweet. And maybe European people will think that in China that there's not much good dessert. And um, this is one of the best thing that we have tried. And I always like it since I was even a child. As a snack, we have this interesting cookie. It's a small size and has a lot of pieces, very thin pieces. It's very crunchy. And we bought some pocky. Well, because we heard that in Europe, pocky is very expensive. So we bought this, our favorite taste. Next, allow me to show you all my spices. First of all, ziran powder. It is used in barbecue. I believe that you cannot find it in Europe. And this too. This is ba jiao. I like to cook some Chinese dishes in Europe and this is a very important ingredient. But in Europe it's just too, way too expensive. This is chili and I just stuff it into this small box so it's easy to transport. We got it as a present from a street restaurant. We were eating noodles there and we thought that their chili chili sauce is so good. Now, time for alcohol. So we bought four bottles of alcohol. They are a kind of wine made of rice and wheat. And in Chinese, we call it yellow alcohol. And this wine is produced in a city called Shaoxing in the southeast of China. And Chinese people think that this wine is very good for female. <laughs> it's very good for our health. So I especially like this container. It is very nice. This wine tastes different from the wines in Europe. It has a bitter herba taste and it's very cheap. It's a very good present if you want to give for your friends and your families. Oh, I want to recommend you my favorite. Actually, this is a fruit, but it is dried. Chinese date. Xinjiang produce very sweet Chinese date because they have a lot of sunshine. And I also have my millet. Looks like a couscous. Uh, it is a type of grain, Chinese grain. In Poland, I found something similar, but it tastes differently. This one is really good to make a porridge, and especially good for your stomach. This is my favorite sugar, brown sugar. It is made of can, but I cannot find it in Europe too. When you have a pan during your period, eat an egg boiled by sugar water, then you will feel less pain. The last thing I would like to introduce to you is a bunch of books that we found in the bookshop in the street in China. In this bookshop, they have a collection of the books, second-handed books that each book costs only two Chinese yuan. So I guess people don't want them, so they just want to get rid of them quickly. The first one, interestingly, it is a Polish book. The title is life in Auschwitz. And what is more surprisingly is that in this book there is a photo of a person. <laughs> I don't know who he is. <laughs> this is very old-fashioned book. 
it shows a lot of photos of European stars and women and, and talk about their hobbies and how they dress up to, to look beautiful. This one is a collection of stories of corruption that somebody committed corruption and how they charge him with a crime and put him to jail. Next one is a collection of poetry from a writer whose name is Liu Zhengkun. I've never heard of him and I'm not quite a fan of poetry but it is a very good present for whoever wants to learn Chinese. Next one is very funny. It's a collection of songs to memorize Chairman Mao's birthday. <laughs> there are many many songs. Chairman Mao is very popular in China. We have a last book, is a book about Chinese art. Um, it is um, a collection of paintings from one guy, this guy I guess, he has no hair, he's bald. His name is He Zubing and his painting is quite, has his own style. Except for all those products presenting here, you may also notice that I have a Chinese dress, so it's also from China. And one day I walked in this into the street and maybe Polish people will feel very curious <laughs> and they will stare at me. It looks like we didn't bring too many things because we have a very limited place in the luggage, so we have to make some selections. Of course, the most important thing is echo and tea. So I recommend all the audience if you go to China and you have to look for those things. Tea, echo and the spices that you cannot find in Europe. Compared to last time when we went from Poland to China, we bought a lot of, a lot, a lot of chocolate and different echoes from Poland. Many of them can be as a gift to give other people and look good. So I think it's easier to choose anything from Poland to take to China. Anyway, but I'm very satisfied with my luggage and all those things. I'm going to use them. I hope you enjoyed today's video and I hope you find something that you think interesting from all of these products and they might be inspiring for you. <laughs> so please leave your comments to tell us what you think about them and give us a like and subscribe. Let's see you next time. Bye bye.